Hey guys, Jeff from Showit here, and today we're going to talk about hosting. This can be a confusing topic for some of our users, especially if you're new to websites in general. So I thought I'd make a quick video to help demystify all of this a little bit. So to start, let me talk about what we here at Showit host for you. We host your site, your blog, if you have one, and all of the content files like images, text, PDFs, whatever it may be associated with your website. Now, let me tell you what Showit does not host. We do not host your domain and we do not host custom email. So I'm going to show you a little bit more about where those things are hosted, how you might set those up if you're still needing to and what the best path forward is. So here in my example site, you'll see that I have my domain set to sampledomain3.com. Now I'm hosting that domain here with GoDaddy. Here you'll see that my sampledomain3.com is in my GoDaddy account and I've pointed these DNS values of this domain to show it to display my site on the show it servers connected to my domain here. So in order to launch your show it site, you'll need to ensure that you have a domain that is hosted with a domain registrar that could be GoDaddy, Hover, Google domains. Even if you're coming over from something like Squarespace or Wix, you can usually continue to host your domain there with them and point that domain to show its servers to display your new site. However, if you'd like to move it, you can always transfer your domain to a different registrar, such as GoDaddy or Google domains. Now, if you need a domain to start with, we suggest using either GoDaddy, Hover, or Google domains. Those are all pretty simple and straightforward. There's a lot of domain hosts out there. Some of them have varying levels of effectivity with their customer service. Some of them are more complicated than others. So if you can find a more mainstream domain registrar, you're probably going to have an easier time with your domain hosting. Now, as far as custom email, that's typically hosted through your domain. So if I had a custom email hosted by GoDaddy set up through them, that would all be taken care of in my account. But let's say perhaps I want to use Google Workspace for my custom business email, which might be info at sampledomain3.com. So I could set up an account here with Google Workspace. This is going to be an additional fee as they are hosting that email for you. And then most emails have set MX records like you see here for Google. Those MX records would be set in your domain host here via these MX record options. Now, if I'm hosting with GoDaddy and needed to set up my email and wasn't sure how, I could contact GoDaddy customer service and they could help me with that. So when it comes to show it, we're going to help you get your site connected to your domain. We're going to help set everything up with your site and blog and ensure that everything is pointed correctly from your domain to our servers. So last but not least, if I click here and view my live site at my domain, you'll see it's coming up at the domain I have hosted with GoDaddy and my show it site is showing here. Now, one last thing, you'll notice this not secure message here. This means that there is no SSL security certificate set up for my website. Since we here at Show It host your website, you can request that our team set that SSL up for you if you see this not secure message. Once we get that set up, it will change and you'll see it shows as a little lock like the Show It site icon here. So we can get that set up for you. You don't need to purchase any SSL through your domain host or anything like that. We as your website and blog host can set that up for you. So I hope this video has helped demystify some of the nuances of hosting and where those different things are hosted. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to chat our support via the chat bubble in the bottom right corner of Show It. So until next time, happy designing.